I think conceit and arrogance is part of a man's makeup. Perhaps I've got too much. Kai Show FM is it's me, FM Cheetah. You can call me Madden. Welcome back to episode 21 of Conquering Clough. And as you will see above my head there, yep, we have slipped out of a European position again. But what you'll notice is right above us on equal points, though much better goal difference, is West Ham, today's opponents. It's been a rocky ride the last few weeks. So we last saw each other for the 2-1 home win over Brentford, which we then followed up with a 2-0 away win over Manchester United. Amazing. Couldn't carry it on though because we lost 2-1 away to Newcastle. An unfortunate loss, as you can see, Alain Saint-Maximin sneaking in a goal uh, in the 95th minute when we were 1-1. Maybe just a point loss, but every point adds up. Then a draw at home to Everton. That should have been much better. Everton weren't particularly well placed. We needed to make more of that. A 1-0 narrow loss in the FA Cup fourth round. I mean, not too worried. I mean, you come up against Man City, you are probably going to lose, um, at least for a while. Uh, and lose we did. But look, I think we did ourselves uh, proud, unquestionably. We didn't do ourselves proud away to Tottenham. 3-0 spanking away. Couldn't make much of that. But we did follow it up with a 1-0 win over Aston Villa. Then a 1-0 away win over Brighton. A really irritating 1-1 draw uh, with uh, Crystal Palace. As you can see, Artem Besseden, 93rd minute. And we dominated this game. Absolutely dominated. I think I took the foot off the pedal a bit too soon in terms of pressing and let the goal in. You can see the, you know, the, um, uh, the average ratings were excellent. We really needed three points there. Uh, and then a 3-1 away loss to Leicester. So you can see... Fairly up and down. There were times we were hard, high as fifth, and then at one point we dropped down to sort of 11th, um, and obviously based on what the teams around us were doing. Now, unfortunately, that 3-1 loss against Leicester uh, was accompanied by a bunch of wins by the teams around us, including West Ham, who we face today. Here we are. So opposition instructions we will take. They want us to play cautious. Okay, we'll do it. We'll play cautious just in case. Uh, Zeke is here. We've played West Ham already and I feel like we lost against them, but maybe I'm wrong. I should have probably checked. All right, fine. We'll go with this. We'll watch. See how we go. If we need to turn it around, if we're taking too many shots on, on goal, we'll change it. So we saw this earlier, but here it is in its glory. Glory? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yes, the somewhat injured Popovich in goal. Matuzinho. Uh, on the right, Pisani on the left, he's just training too well. Kalki and Worrell teaming up. Now, Luis and Bernardo will be joining today. Now, oh, Bernardo, down low. Yeah, okay, so I dropped him down low and did a little experiment putting uh, Conor Gallagher up front, and the results have been pretty good. Uh, Bernardo prefers to be played down there, and we need a bit of steel in midfield, so let's play them down there. Uh, so yes, Gallagher in the hole, Shadow Striker. Uh, Gallagher, if we have a look at his form, 697, not terrible. Of course, as we said, Conce Sal on the right. Diop training like an absolute whirlwind on the left. We will keep up with Alexander. We'll keep going with him. Mitrovic is the goal scorer. No reason to give up on him yet, um, but we've also got um, Arezzo on the bench. We have done a few sort of 4-4-2s. Four, four uh, I think uh, the Rolts haven't been great. I think we did 4-4-2 four, four, against Leicester because they were playing three at the back. That's why we were trying the 4 4 twos. We haven't been doing it enough for, B, for it to be uh, successful. I think you might remember uh, in, I think it was our very first season in the in the championship, we were playing that 4 4 2 formation and did us pretty well. Not in the premiership, at least not with this team. All right, time to have a chat with the boys. Uh, I think you need to show everyone what we're all about. Does well. Yeah, I notice, of course, you know, when we are doing well, of changes to. Uh, you know, show the media, prove them you're great. Uh, we haven't been so well. We've been a bit sketchy lately, so that's slipped away. But everyone's motivated. Let's have a game. And here we go. Let's get some goals. So we need, uh, well, there's something's happened already because we've slipped into seventh position. West Ham just above us. Get a win here. We'll go to 51 points. Uh, Wolves obviously are not playing today. And I did think about playing that Wolves game. But look, we'll go above West Ham into sixth at least in the short term, because Arsenal have yet to play. All right, we will uh, do a bit of encouraging uh, just to get some smiley faces up there, which 
doesn't seem to have really much effect. Anyway, three shots, just the one on target versus West Ham's one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go balance. We really need three points here. Um, we are, um, uh, whilst we are counter-attacking, we are sort of retreating when they have the ball because, you know, we're away. We need to respect West Ham. They're above us. Uh, so, you know, let's do them the honour of, of not assuming that we can just dominate them. All right, heading towards 35 minutes, their shots on, uh, on the shots have increased, although none on target. And we have the first highlight, and it's West Ham's. Sufala's on the ball. He's trying to cross it in. He does. Ooh, Pavon almost does that. Machuzina gets a block in. It's a corner. We'll see the corner. Outswinger by Pavon by the look of it. Goes out. Kalki clears. Apparently Mitrovic doesn't want to go get that ball, and that's the highlight. Now, what I was going to do was demand a little more. Here we go, our corner, Constance, our in swinger. Mitrovic is on it. Oh, God, just, oh, just slipped past the post. God. All right, just the one minute of injury time before the half. We go in nil-nil. I saw that they had eight shots, one on target. We had five shots, one on target. Hmm. I'm proud. Mm, haven't been good. Let's do haven't been good. Let's let's push them a bit. Let's have a quick look here. Nothing terrible, nothing great. The question I have is, do we counter press? Do we give it a go? I mean, as soon as they changed to, uh, to balanced, their shots started coming in. Um, yes, we had two highlights, one apiece. Still, hmm, hmm. Will I? I think I will. Let's just start that way. Let's start that way and maybe we'll get a bit of luck, get a goal and then, you know, we can pull back, sort of let them come out us and go for a break. Let's see what happens. It's West Ham's throw. Madison's on the ball's edge. Finds Kalki. Diop collects though to Luis. Back to Kalki. Diop finds Pisani. Pisani releases Gallagher. Gallagher's trying to come forward but he goes back to Luis, to Kalki. Luis finds Paolo Bernardo, finds Mitrovic, who finds Constance, I'll finish it, son. Lafont, Lafont's at West Ham, he makes a save. Can we get a corner? We can. It's going to be an in-swinger. Come on, Alexander, put your head on it, put it away. He doesn't. Madison's on that ball, and that's the end of the highlight. Mm, 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 mm. All right, okay, not too bad. Nine shots, one versus our six and two. As we come closer to 60 minutes, having a look here, Diop is the weak link out there. Pisani's not having the whole, in fact, the whole left-hand side. Mm, so let's stop there for a moment and have a think about this. I'm going to take Pisani off because he's got a yellow card and I'd rather have improved defense than worry too much about what's happening further up here. So let's give the chat, pump the fist, give him a, yeah, Parisi, he's onto it. He's motivated, good, good. Rain in some assists to Mitrovic's giant Serbian head, please. All right, 70 minutes. They are. They're having the shots. I'm getting a bit worried, so I'm going to, I'm going to change it to going back. Uh, and also, we need to have another look at another possible substitution. Some tired bodies out there. There's a 6-4 from Diup. He has to come off. He does have to come off. Mm, and I guess it has to be... I guess it has to be um, Alawahi who comes on as an inverted inside forward, I should say. And Gallagher's looking tired too. Should we bring Elise on? We'll bring Elise on, attacking, midf uh, attacking midfielder on attack, I think. Let's go. We're 70 minutes. Let's do it. Motivate the boys. Get out there. Do the business. Get us a goal. We just need the one. Elise fires it in. It's a good hit. Worrells just drags it out. He just doesn't have the touch, the big man. So important for us, our captain. Can't put the ball in as we hit to 75 minutes. Goodness. I mean, you, I guess I have to hold on. You know, they're looking. You've got the more shots. Let's not, let's not lose. Let's not lose. All right, 85 minutes. <laughs> Look at me. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about counter-pressing. No, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I don't want to do it. I'd rather just take the point. Let's just take the point. Go home. <sighs> no, I can't do it. No, I have to. Three points is like, we need to stay in Europe. Okay, three points. Um, yep, we're going to do it. Just just go for it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Parisi finds why he finds Elise. Crosses in. Dimitrovic. 
puts it away was he onside he looked fine he looked fine yep he is fine in fact it's changed so quickly in fact i don't think it has changed there we go let's have a look at this in three dimensions wahi into elise elise crosses in clips a defender mitrovic rises up puts it away like a gigantic serbian no we're not going to change we're not going to do anything in fact so four minutes of injury time we're going to hold on we're going to hold on in a moment <laughs> in a moment you can see we've jumped up above wolves all right so time wasting don't run play for set pieces uh sure let's do it let's do it hold on no three minutes you're going to move from balance to defensive all right here we go moving into defensive as it counts down the seconds do we get the three points yes yes we do three points outstanding let's get in the dressing room and tell the boys let's have a let's have some outstretch i don't think i've outstretched my hands enough today uh the sound you hear is everyone backtracking yeah that's it all right three points let's have a look at it and there we are in fifth now we have leaped uh wolves on goal difference but they've got a game in hand obviously all they need to do is draw that game and they'll slip above us. Uh, Arsenal, they win their game. They'll go above us. Even if both those teams go above us, we will still be in. We will still be in a European position by the end of the weekend. And that is what we like. Wow. That's the second last episode of the season. Holy dooly. Now, let's go have a look then. Well, we should have a look at this first. He's now out for two weeks, uh, Popovic. Dear, oh dear. Okay, I'll have to deal with that. And Worrell shines. Yeah, let's let's put big arm around Joe. You are outstanding. All right, let's check those fixtures out. So last time we spoke, I talked about the Newcastle game. Obviously, they're still a threat to us. But, you know, who knows what? We've got two home games left, Chelsea and Newcastle. I'm tempted to play both. I'm tempted to play both because they're both home games. And yes, whilst we might lose to Chelsea... If we get a draw against Chelsea at home, that could be really important. And then a win at home over Newcastle. Yeah, I think we might do that. Let's let's end the season on a two-game bonanza. These are pretty fast. These are pretty fast. And then if we can tear through them, really tear through them, maybe we can do an end-of-season review as well. All right. I think so. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. That was tense. It was good though. Three points. If you did like it, you know what to do. Drop a like down there for me, please. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get the... This is the end of season four coming up. We're about to hit season five. Only eight seasons left to win two premierships and three European Cups. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no problem. Things are getting super tight, super tight. I think we can do it though i mean we've made some real strides this season obviously we want to keep that european position just for the experience and obviously for the money and what it might help us and how it might help us bringing in those players yes okay so yes thanks again thanks so much for joining me until next time la serate <laughs>